full of liquor, then we die. In it, pull him to the side, let me slide. In it. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Bible Ty, and I'm back with another video. So, I'm gonna be dropping videos every single day. And I tell you, every single day, I mean every single day. Every single day. Like, not stop. The whole month of April, I'm dropping videos. So, if you haven't watched my last video, make sure you go watch my last video. Let's get it tuned with the little. Yup. <laughs> First of all, why is this side longer than this side? We not gonna do too much on my hair. Cause I really be trying, but I don't get too far. So today's video is gonna be a story time. And the story time is when y'all, y'all ain't even ready. Okay. The story time is when I mean, personally, I felt like I got jumped, but I guess I was told I wasn't. I just got beat the fuck up, okay? So, yeah, this story time is when I got beat up by some girl. Hold on. So, in this story time is when I was fighting for my respect. Now, let me break it down to you. I was messing with this boy who was the love of my life. Am I tell you the love of my life? I mean the love of my life. Like, we were, you know, a thing years ago. We still could to this day. You feel me? But, yeah. So, we... We're on and off for about a good six years or so. And my very, very first time going to his house. Because y'all like, but let me tell you. So we met on Facebook. And he was my twin. Because we kind of favored each other. And then from my twin, he became my brother. So after he became my brother, y'all already know. He became my man. So, yeah. Then, we found out we went to the same school. Y'all, when I tell y'all in school, this man used to harass me. He used to harass me. Real bad. I couldn't wear leggings. I couldn't wear certain stuff without him standing behind me, pulling my shirt down, my jacket down. Like, he wasn't going for none of that. So, he ended up texting me, asking me to come stay tonight. Mind y'all, I was young. I was still in school. Like, you feel me? It was it was giving me fast. So I go over, I pack my stuff, y'all. I get dropped off. So I go to the night. Now mind you, it's mad other people in here. I don't even know these people. So he bring me in his room. So I hear females. I hear them yapping and stuff like that. Like, oh that, oh that, that, that. Stuff like that. Me, I'm not paying no attention to it because it's like I don't even know y'all. I don't really care. I'm here for him, not for y'all. So, he like, all right, I'm about to go and take a shower. Now, some of y'all might think that I did some setup, but me personally, it wasn't. So, he's telling me, like, I'm about, he's like, stay in this room and do not come out. I'm finna jump in the shower. So, I'm like, okay. So, I hear a knock at the door. So, I'm like, who is it? So it's a girl. So I'm like, I open the door. So she like, oh, your name Ty, right? Ty Quilla, right? So I'm like, yeah. She like, oh, you gonna watch the story with me? So I'm like, damn, he just told me not to come out of this room. So I'm like, yeah, I watch the story with you. Cause mine, she looked at young. She looked so sweet, innocent. So we walk in. I kid you not. I kid you not. When we get to the corner once she say, oh, um, you Tyquilla, right? Y'all, people started popping out the woodwork, y'all, on me. I keep, I'm like, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. Because mind you, I don't even know what the fuck I'm fighting for. Like, I'm a little confused, y'all. So I'm like, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I feel hands just busting me upside my shit. 
looks like y'all i just feel boom 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 my nails broke i mean i ain't fight back i'm not gonna lie to you i ain't fight back then they left i go running back to the house i'm in the room crying he come in the room like what happened what happened lit busted y'all i'm all i'm busted up y'all okay i'm busted up he like, what happened, what happened? I'm like, I don't know. Some females jumped me, da 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 Now, his mom, mind you, now this is the crazy part. I never met his mom yet. I had to meet his mom with a busted, bloody mouth and face. Like, it, it, it was so embarrassing. So, his mom, he went and told his mom and stuff, so everybody go outside. When I say his whole family outside, the whole family's outside. So we all outside, we standing there and stuff. So the mom, his mom like, like, oh, you dead wrong. Like, you know, basically snapping on the other girl. So the other girl was jealous, or whatever the case may be, because I was messing with him. And I guess she was like obsessed or madly in love with him or however it go. And, you know, then it was just me being me. So I explain what happened, whatever the case may be. So the other girl that was there was pregnant, so I couldn't fight her, which I didn't really care for. I just wanted my ones with somebody, like whoever plotted this or however it went. I wanted, I wanted to run my ones. So his mom like, nah, fuck all that. Um, you dead wrong. Um, she was like. She called my name. Thanks to me, Ty. She was like, whoop that ass. So I'm biting my nails off. She like, no, no, I won't fight. Square up, y'all in her mouth. Beat her up. Had her lean across the ledge. Beat her up. Everybody laughing at her. Like, how you, how you press over a nigga that ain't your nigga and try to do some weird backdoor stuff to me just for me to beat you up? It wasn't given. Okay, so I had to transition into the bathroom. Y'all probably gonna hear an echo, but who really cares? So, after I done beat her up, y'all know I went back in the room and got my little cutty on with a busted lip and all. Like, I felt all affectionate. Like, he like, damn, my little book boot got beat up, jumped, whatever. And then came back even harder on them. Sure, he ate her up. So then it became a habit. I started going over it all the time. Now, mind y'all, Shorty was still there. I guess Shorty was living it. Y'all, why Shorty always made it a habit to keep coming for me? Like, if I done beat you up once in front of everybody, what makes you think I won't beat you up again? And I'm not beating you up over a nigga. I'm beating you up because you just keep coming for me. So she kept being petty. So she hit my line like, oh, uh, I just got out. Um, he just got done having sex with me, whatever, whatever. And I'm just like, girl, like nobody cares. Like you're pressed about a nigga. I'm not even pressed about. Like, I don't care. So then I guess she ended up telling, I ended up going over there. So she ended up, because you know he wanted to see me or whatever the case might be. So I ended up going over there. We check. You all get a knock on the door again. So it's his big brother. So he basically was like telling me, like everybody coming to tell me like how she wouldn't run her ones again. And I'm like, girl, like I'm getting tired of beating you up at this point. Like it's getting petty. Like I didn't beat you at once. Now I gotta beat you up again to show you like I'm nothing to play with. Like you just keep trying to antagonize me and bully me. I'm not going for it. So he like, oh, I don't even know why you keep fighting her. Yeah, I both some dumbass B words. Da, 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 da. But not, this not that. Like, I'm not hearing nothing you're talking about. Go outside. Run the bed. Beat her up. Okay, I'm done. Stop messing with me now. Like, leave me alone. Like, let me be. We got beat up again in front of his family. Let it go. Just let it go. Y'all. A couple days go by or like weeks go by. She went around it again. I done beat you up twice. Twice. And you want to keep running this fade. You're not making it anywhere. 
beat you up again. Now you just look dumb. Like, I look dumb for keep fighting you, but I ain't fighting you because you keep trying to fight me. You keep coming for me, and I'm not going for that. You're fighting over a nigga who gives zero about you. What? Where do we do that at? You're fighting over a nigga, but I'm not. I ain't fighting because you keep you keep you keep going. You keep messing with me. Like leave me alone, baby. I I, I beat you at once. I just wanted my once for what happened. And I let you rock out. I'm still getting what I want. You're not, but I am. So why you keep like you going? So y'all done fought him like three times. And all three times I didn't beat her up. Probably the last time it probably was a tie. Probably I if I'm not mistaken, I probably slipped a little bit, but I still was in her mouth. But it's just like, why do you keep coming for me and I'm not coming for you? Like, and for all females or males, y'all understand what I'm talking about. Y'all always got that one person who just keep going, keep antagonizing you after you done did what you had to do. Like, you trying to prove a point and you're not making a point. Like, you're just getting beat up. I wasn't going for it. I wasn't having it. Like, girl, just leave me alone. Leave me alone. And baby, I was still in the picture. So it's like, you look dumb. I look dumb, but you look dumb. But I told you, once you try to get me, I'm going to get you. And once you got got, you just got got. Because I'm not getting got. You're going to get got. And you got got. Leave me alone. So after that, y'all, we definitely did not become cool cordial yeah you know i got respect so if i'm in y'all mama house i'm definitely not even going to start nothing or say nothing which i was never which i was never on that type of time man. anyways from the get-go <sighs> our reality it was petty from the beginning to the end yeah and i wasn't having it I just wasn't happy. Like, you're not going to run over me. You're not going to talk to me crazy. You're definitely not going to threaten me because I'm coming 10 times harder. I'm not even going to say too much. I'm going to just show you. And that's what happened. But, yo, that's a little story time. Like, y'all, I, about that, oh, I'm just going 10 toes. Like, about me, I'm going 10 toes. And not for a neighbor, for me. And the fact that you're playing with me like that is a problem. A problem that need to be handled. A problem that need to be fixed. Because you don't know who you're messing with. And then it's sad because y'all be thinking because we small or we don't say too much. That's y'all opportunity to bully us. But that's the end of my story time. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Tell your mama, tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell your daddy. And y'all already know the rest. You already know I tell some good story times. Comment down below any other story times y'all want me to do. But I probably have one in mind for y'all for tomorrow. Or whatever. But yeah. Stay tuned for some more.